Hello friends, this video on atom and molecules part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's start our chapter on atoms and molecules. The first question that comes to our mind is what is atom? Atom is nothing but it is the basic unit of matter. So if you take any matter, atom is the basic unit of matter. For example, if you talk about brick, Brick. This is one brick. This is the basic unit of wall. If you see a wall or a building, the building is made up of bricks. Right? But actually, if you even break down bricks into various small parts, you will see that it is made of atoms. So for any matter, this is the basic unit. Okay? And it consists of central nucleus. If you see the central nucleus here, the one in the red, and then electron cloud. Whatever you see in black is electron cloud. We will talk about these things in details in the next chapter. Just understand that atom is nothing but a central nucleus surrounded by a charge of negatively charged electron cloud. This is negatively charged. This is atom and if you see the view of atom this is how it is. There is a center nucleus somewhere here which is very small and then they are all these electrons, whatever you see in yellow, red, blue, green color, they are all electrons floating around, jumping around. And these are all electron clouds. Both are same thing, actually, different representation. They are, they, actually, if you see here, the speed at which the electrons are moving is very slow. That is just to represent, just to show you that it is there. But actually, in the atom, these electrons move at a very high speed and you see electron cloud kind of structure. Same thing in the fan, if you see fan has three wings like this, but the fan would be at a very high speed, you don't see the wings, right? Same, same thing here. There are electrons and they are moving around at very high speed, so you see an electron cloud, but actually they are electrons and if you decrease the speed, you get a view like this. You can't decrease the speed, just for imagination, we have created this picture. On the left hand side but actually it is something like this okay so matter is the uh, atom is the basic unit of matter you take any matter you take apple you break apple into small small part the smallest part which you get will be atom and that is not visible through naked eyes you can't see that right and then what is molecule the chapter is all about atoms and molecules molecules are group of two or more atoms. For example, I have a hydrogen atom or I have suppose two atoms. Two atoms can combine to form molecules. Even three atoms can combine to form molecules. Four atoms can also combine to form molecules. And they are neutral, electrically neutral. There is no charge. So the definition will be neutral group of more than two atoms. That is called molecule. For example, H2O, water we drink is H2O. It has two hydrogen and one oxygen molecule. One oxygen and two hydrogen molecules. Actually, it will be something like this based on the size. Right? This is oxygen, this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen. And when we talk about the ions, we'll talk about these things in details. Just understand these terms now. They have charge, for example, C and minus. SO4 to minus. So they have charge. We'll talk about these things in detail. So understand atom is the basic unit of matter. It consists of dense central nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electron. While molecule is nothing but neutral group of two or more than two atoms. This is methane, CH4. There is a carbon here and four hydrogens here. These hydrogens and carbons are atoms and these atoms combine to form a molecule. Okay. Now the next question is, that should come to our mind is why should we study atoms and molecules? We know the definition of atoms and molecules. Big deal how it is impacting our life. So if you see most of the things around us has atoms. In fact, almost everything, everything around us has atoms and molecules. For example, Except the light photon, 
the light, except light, everything you see, for example, coal has atoms, any plastic containers has atoms, soap, t-shirt you wear, the toys we play, the tea we drink, the sugar we add, the medicines we take, everything has atoms and molecules. The balls that is used to play, the apple, if you cut apples, you will get a smaller piece which you will not be able to cut further and we will not be able to see that as well in the, this has to be done in the lab, that will be happening. You take car, you take pencil, notebook, eraser, lab equipment, chemicals, gold, everything has atoms. Everything around us, everything around us except light. Light has photons that doesn't have atoms. But except light, anything you see around us has atoms and molecules. The atom is the basic fundamental unit of matter, right? All these Thing which you see on the screen is made of matter. In fact, the computer screen or the laptop or the tablet or the phone through which you are watching this video is also made up of matter. Even we ourselves, the whole human body is made of matter. Human body is made of protein, molecules. These are all matter and they are made up of atoms and molecules. Okay. So, before we understand atom in detail. Let's understand the history of atom. How this word atom came? There was a Maharishi, Maharishi Kannad. This guy is Maharishi and he was an Indian philosopher. Right? And this Indian philosopher in almost 500 BC, almost 2500 years before today's day, he postulated that time the science experiments uh, were not that much. So all postulates that time. It was all postulates. It was all theoretical. Or theory. He proposed actually that if we go on dividing a matter, we shall get very small particles. For example, you take apple, you keep cutting the apple. You will get a very small particle. And ultimately a time will come that will come across the smallest particle beyond which the division is not possible. Right? So for example, you take a brick or you take a pen, pencil, any, any, any matter you take, matter is something which has mass, we just studied in the last chapter. Any matter you take, keep dividing and you will reach a point that beyond which the division is not possible. And that particular point, that particular particle which you get, which you can't divide, actually you can divide now, we have seen that, we will see that, but he postulated that, that particular piece which you can't divide will be called as Paramanu. That was the name given. Even, even atom in Hindi is called Paramanu. Right? There were other Maharishis. They also told that uh, these particles actually, in fact, uh, the name of the uh, Maharishi was Katyamna. This Maharishi told that these particles actually normally exist in the combined state. Right? And they give various forms of matter. So they are saying that they, he told that uh, there are only few different types of atoms of Parmanu. And these are Manu combined to form different types of matter. That's what he postulated. Please note, these are all postulates. There was no experiments done at that time. No experiment to prove. Right? They were all theory. All theory. And at the same time, Democritus and Lachypus, these guys suggested that if we go on dividing the matter, a stage will come after that or beyond which we will not be able to divide them further. Right? And that particle which we get will not be able to divide further will be called atom. So the same particle he called that atom. So Parmanu was the name given by Indian Maharishis. Atom was the name given by Democritus for the same thing. An atom word came from the Greek word means indivisible. A is in and 
divisible is strong atom indivisible please note they are all based on philosophical consideration there is no experiment done to validate these ideas these were just ideas right there were no experiments let me reiterate this word there were no experiments these were all philosophy by maharishis and greek philosophers and that time if you see if you talk about if you study history also you will see that around bc's and uh, 500 600 or 1080 is there were no scientists as such that was the philosophical age there were a lot of philosophers they used to give philosophy right they used to think and just say they didn't have scientific data to prove that and then now we don't see a lot of philosophers we see more scientists because we have uh, scientific data to prove a lot of stuff okay so this is the history on 500 bc's uh, these uh, the philosophers they told that there is something called parmanu or atom which is indivisible you take any matter and keep dividing it a point will come beyond which you will not be able to divide that particle further and that particle is a. first thing is invisible and the second thing is indivisible and that was called atom or thing okay so this is how the atom looks like as per current data okay thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attend free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching